It's Play in the Shed day again and today I'm going to play on the lathe because I'm going to make a little toy for the grandkids. I'm going to make Peg Solitaire. Now this is a very easy toy to make with wood but I'm going to make it complicated by making it out of stainless steel and brass. And so the first is to make the pegs. I'm making the pegs with little brass caps. So time to make the cap. So I'm just going to drill a hole in the cap that the stainless steel will slide into. And because brass is so expensive, the caps are just going to be 10 millimeters long. With the cap parted off, I'm just going to turn it round in the lathe, which is a bit of a dodgy thing to do because they're so short. Uh, because I want to just chamfer that end and also take the little tit off. So I'm having to be quite careful not to put too much pressure on it. Fortunately, the brass cuts fairly easily. Right, there's one done, 13 more to do. It's a little tedious, but good lathe practice, and it's not complicated. Anyway, the next part is to make the main part of the peg, and I'm going to use 12mm stainless for this. Stainless is pretty inexpensive, but it is quite hard, and so my little lathe labours a little bit with it. So I can't take very deep cuts, but that doesn't matter. Time's not a real issue. So anyway, first part of the process is to just face off the end and then turn the end down so that the cap fits over the top of it. Simple. I'm turning down the end to about um, 10 millimeters because when the cap goes on, I want a little gap between the cap and the post, which you'll see later. My little lathe does not like parting stainless steel, so the easiest way to do it is to just cut it off with the saw, put it back in the lathe, face it off, and then do the other end. Right, one cap and one peg are done. So 
I'll just put these together to see what it looks like and make sure that I'm happy with it before I go on with the mass production part of the process. Okay, I think that looks like it should, and that fits on nice and tight. So, onward. A considerable time later, and I've got 14 posts and 14 caps done. So, time to glue the caps on. And I may as well admit right now, none of them are exactly the same, but this is just a toy and I'm only a backyard bodger, so it'll be fine. Now it's time to make the board and I'm making the board out of some 12mm aluminium plate. Again it'd be a lot easier just to make this out of a bit of timber, but easy's no fun. Rather than try to glue the paper down, I'm just holding it in place and using a centre punch to mark all the holes that have to be drilled. And then I'm going to scribe both the outside of the shape that I've designed and then put a scribe mark for the triangle, which is the, the game part of the, the game. Those outside holes are just for putting the pegs once they are removed from the game part of the board. The simple hobby bandsaw cuts the aluminium quite happily. Just got to take it slow and steady. The bandsaw leaves a fairly rough cut, so just a few passes on the sander fixes that right up. And it makes the face nice and straight as well. I've set the depth on the drill press, so it's a very easy matter to just drill out these 6mm holes. And a bit of WD-40 now and then helps the drill drill through the aluminium without sticking. I'll run over with the countersink drill just to make it easier for the pegs to come in and out of those holes. The surface on my piece of aluminium is not perfect so I'm just going to give it a bit of a sand with the random orbital sander. And I'm just going to start with a 120 grit because there's some fairly deep cuts in it. And then go to 240. And then give, a, give it a final polish with some uh, metal polish. And I think that'll do. It won't be mirror finish, but it'll be good. I'm happy with that. The job's complete. The object of the game is to jump pegs and remove them. And you can only remove them if you can jump them. And the aim of the final game is to have one peg left on the triangle of the board. Of course I'm cheating by looking at the solution. Without the solution, it's surprisingly difficult. Even skilled adults like myself find it almost impossible to solve the puzzle. So it's quite a challenge. And hopefully the kids will have minutes of fun with it. 
and when they get sick of it they can always re-gift it. But I think at the very least it's a pretty object. I have a treasure chest that I made quite a long time ago that's never been used for anything so it just so happens to fit perfectly. So that's where it'll live and so the box and the puzzle will go to the grandkids.